considering the cacao pod husk comprise majority of the fruit, solid waste residues are generated. Thus, serious solid waste management problems are likely to occur. Although these husks are used in low-value applications, such as animal feed in some area, they still remain underexploited and their disposal still remains a problem at present. One sustainable strategy for the management of these solid waste residues would be by processing cacao pod husk waste into products of added value. So, Ms. Teresita Ramirez and Ms. Arsenio Sapi from Biotech UPLB found a way to utilize cacao pod husk and the result is the cacao pod husk dietary fiber. It is a modified dietary fiber with improved qualities and versatile uses for various industries. It is derived from cacao pod husk using physical, enzymatic methods or combination of these and without employing chemical modification processes. So what are the features of this cacao pod husk? The proximate analysis of the untreated and pectinase treated cacao pod husk showed increased crude protein and crude fiber contents after enzymatic treatment. The proportion of carbohydrates and crude fat decreased. The proportion of crude fiber may be attributed to the higher proportion of insoluble fiber as a result of a decrease in pectin content due to the pectinase treatment. On the other hand, increased acid detergent fiber and neutral detergent fiber implies that the pectinase treated fiber at optimum conditions would take longer time to be eaten due to its decreased digestibility and dry matter intake. With these, most of its essential nutrient content such as protein, carbohydrates, and ash may be absorbed in the small intestine. This may add to potential health benefit for health-conscious individuals since when high-fiber food are consumed, it is expected that next food intake would be significantly reduced. Also, to be used as a dietary fiber source, it is desirable that the fiber material should have desired nutritional properties as well as functional and technological properties. Functional properties of dietary fiber determine its suitability for use as functional food. Water plays an important role on changes which are observed during baking and addition of dietary fiber to bread leads to decreased volume of bread and increased bread firmness. Thus, a lower water and oil absorption capacity as well as low swelling capacity and low gel hardness were desired for the resulting cacao pod husk dietary fiber. Various conditions were modified in order to arrive to a final product with improved properties. In addition, the dietary fiber from cacao pod husk have high antioxidant activity than other waste byproduct analyzed and synthetic oxidants like BHA and BHT. When added to food, antioxidant-rich fiber can increase the shelf life of food. Antioxidants also reduce the risk of cancer, atherosclerosis, and vision loss. So what are the market trends and opportunities for cacao pod husk? Well, intercropping is possible in 2 million hectares of coconut. Coconut and cacao are complementary. Intercropping these two diversifies the available produce and makes use of the soil nutrients efficiently. Furthermore, there is a high availability of cacao pod husk all year round. The country produces around 10,000 to 12,000 metric tons of cacao beans per year, generating ar around 7,300 to 8,760 metric tons of cacao pod husk. By utilizing cacao pod husk, it will significantly reduce the waste generated from cacao and there will be a higher supply of raw materials per production of dietary fiber. Also, this cacao pod husk may appeal to more market due to its chocolate taste. 
So what are the benefits and potential application of this cacao pus dietary fiber? By utilizing cacao pod husk, cacao farmers will have additional income from this product and the amount of waste produced will significantly decrease. Moreover, incorporating cacao pod husk dietary fiber in breads and pastries increases their fiber content and water hydration of lard. Adding fiber-rich food to your diet aids in digestion and is recommended for weight management as it lowers fat absorption and makes you feel full. Furthermore, soluble fiber was found to reduce the risk of diabetes and cardiovascular diseases by slowing down glucose absorption and decreased total and LDL cholesterol levels, respectively. So that's it for the cacao pod has dietary fiber.